a map out. I want to get over to uh, Chief Meteorologist Mark Prater. This is a Highway 13 you're looking at right now. Uh, our meteorologists are gathering some information on what they're seeing in the atmosphere, but this is a 334 Highway 13. That's where the damage is. That's where the explosion happened. And so if you get a proximity there, you can see it looks like there's a lot of uh, vegetation in that area. There's also a lake over there. You can see that from the picture. But Mark, what are you guys able to see on the satellite? Really picking it up on radar right now. Well, let's go out to our uh, Max One system, and uh, you'll see our radar. And believe it or not, we have uh, okay. We have crystal clear skies, but uh, the uh, latest radar image that we're looking at is showing the smoke. It's now starting to uh, reach levels there. That uh, there it is. That is the uh, smoke plume and it continues to rise. This is getting way up in the atmosphere. So as we looked at the, uh, the base of this, uh, this plume of smoke, the black area, it continues to billow. So this is nowhere close to being put out. And obviously, whenever we look at an explosion like this, we look for winds. Which way is the wind blowing? We're very fortunate that it's not spreading, but it still is an area that is dealing with fires. That fire right now, spreading both directions all around from where the explosion was.